Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Bjarne and today Mod 21 has dropped on console and we're basically going to see what's new, what's not and if you go into home, I've already done this, go into claim valuables, go over to promo, you will get a voucher. If you've got Zen, then obviously you can do with this voucher whatever you want. If you haven't got Zen, then sorry, <laughs> I haven't got Zen, so I won't be able to use it, but it's 50% off any item. Um, I do really want to sort these because I'm about to open lockboxes. Okay, so everything below here will be from the lockbox. I want to see what the lockbox is going to give. I've saved up about 27 keys. And we have some other things like campaigns and everything to look at. So we'll start with the keys first. When I find the lockboxes, bear with me. I think I bought 99. Hey, where are they? Aren't there? Okay. So, we're going to open all 99. We're hoping to get the Mythic Mount, but let's face it, with my RNG, we're probably not going to get it. Here we go. 10 reroll. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. You won't last long, but thank you anyway. Another 10, very nice. I like that drop rate. Insignia powder, nice. Need that. Loving these trade bars, they'll help. Hundred. Your genie's gifts will help as well. For the dread ring, so I can farm the ES fives. That's a lot of trade bars. I think it might not be. I might be wrong there. Okay, maybe the re rolls aren't that good of a <laughs> drop rate. Okay, that is all 27. Uh, no mounts. We got some vouchers we could probably sell. We got some refinement points that I don't need. We got some genius gifts. We got 75 powder. And yeah, so I only I only did 27. I know it's not a high number, so I wasn't expecting to get the mount. We got a lot of tokens. We got. A, some stuff to sell, major influence, maybe a, a guild needs that, or whatever. Anyway, so we've opened the lockboxes, and now we are going to have a look at everything else. Character sheet, uh, we need to put the points back in. I usually go for the strength and charisma. I think the severity is easy to get, I'm not worried about that. So we'll go with strength and charisma. For the forte and the recharge speed. Confirm changes. Okay. So, we're going to go over to campaigns. Adventures. And here we go. Under mountain adventures. So, if we view the details, this is what we can get. We will claim the rewards. Oh, you can claim the rewards for each zone. Okay, okay. So let's claim the rewards for each zone. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to see what they give. Martry armor? I don't know, transmutes? Yeah, I reckon the transmutes. Nice. Everyone loves transmutes. We got a piece of companion gear. It's companion gear I haven't gotten, but it's companion gear I I also don't need. We've got the chest of riches. It's going to give you seals. It's going to give you AD, black opals. We got sentinel armor. Again, I'm guessing it's just it's just transmutes. Lost adventure. We got vanity pet. More AD. Could use the AD. Very nice. More AD. Black opal and seals.
more transmutes. Companion gear, AD, transmutes, companion gear and AD. Transmutes, I wonder what that looks like. Hmm. Uh, no, is it the Fallen God? Let's have a look. Nah, don't like it. Don't like it. Okay. So, when you go come onto these campaigns, if you've completed them, you can select each zone and claim the rewards on each zone, which is really, really useful. I mean, no one's going to turn around free stuff. So... Is this everything? Is it just claim the rewards? I do have these campaigns to do. Let's see what we can get. Improved bag of holding. Scrolls alive. 20k AD. Rough AD, sorry. We got the snail there. I think that's an insignia pack, a blue one. Oh, it's a collar pack. Okay, okay. Uh, we got stone of health, injury kits. Rank 8 runestone, not useful. These are all bind on pickup, so you can't even sell these, which is kind of annoying. But, I guess if you're going to make a new character like the Bard, it's going to help. Epic Insignia Choice Pack, I'll probably turn that into powder. Single stat enchantment, four of them. Yeah, these are for, these are for the newer guys. So, if you're making a new character, if you're already in gaming, you're making a new character and you don't want to buy the campaigns or anything, you don't want to buy stuff, these are definitely going to help you. These are not for the end game characters. So, you can't really get annoyed with that. It's nice to see that they're helping the newer players. Uh, so, we've got the swag bag, gallant armor, and 100k rough AD. We'll claim that because I need the rough AD if I'm going to buy Pegasus. Yeah, so I haven't done the campaigns because I bought all the campaigns many years ago. Which is why I just didn't bother doing all these. So it looks like I've got to do all these and get them all done because otherwise it's going to bug me. Dwarven King, we got to do this as well. Twisted Weapons. I really do want the Twisted Weapons transmutes on the rogue okay so we're just gonna accept these and then we're gonna probably finish up the video um we are gonna look at the mythic insignias real quick so i haven't actually got the powder but we'll look at the mythic insignias whoa and let's look at the price on console so they've only just come out the 2.3 mil these are probably gonna keep going down uh, there's only 102 on here, but people are going to buy hundreds of packs. So, 2.3 mil Mythic Insignia, hmm, it's not a bad price. Like, we thought it was going to be about 4 million for each, so it's definitely not a bad price. I don't think there's anything that I've actually missed out, we'll refine that. Um, we've got trade bars, I mean, I'll do with them what I can, maybe I'll get the legendary Pegasus and then I'll just rank it up to Mythic because it's cheaper. Let's see how much the Pegasus are real quick. Uh, okay, so we've got 800k for the legendary. It's probably better to get that and then rank it up or 3.3 mil. Let's see what they do. Summons a Pegasus who, oh, so it's awareness, accuracy, summons a Pegasus who flaps his mighty wings, releasing an immense gale that damages your foes, and strengthens your party for the next 10 seconds. So that sounds like a really good buff. Might be one of the top AoE, who knows. Uh, allies gain forte and one of the following base stats on roll. DPS, 15% damage, tank, 15% damage resistance, healer, 15% outgoing healing, that is... Awesome. I would love the 15% damage. Is that going to be the... That might be the best. It might be. I don't know. I'm sure people are going to test it. And then, obviously, they'll let everyone know. But, yeah. As far as I know, guys, that is everything in Mod 21. There's no new campaign. There's, of course, Mythic Insignias. If you've got the Insignia Powder... 
Um, I didn't read the patch, patch notes. I'm literally doing this blind. So if I have missed anything, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah. So far, the look of everything, you know, the look of the HUD and the menus and everything looks really clean. Really like the look of everything. Um, is it going to be good because there's no new campaign, there's no new content? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. Oh, and Dungeons De Delver's Delight is now up, so get running your dungeons and maybe you'll get increased drop rates. I don't know. I don't usually believe that Dungeons Delight even does anything, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the mod down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next video.